Ezer EDR9000 performing the refraction. We begin the refraction process by loading the patient's data from the auto refractor and lens meter into the digital refractor. This is followed by adjustment of patient positioning and interpupillary distances for accurate visual acuity evaluations. Once the patient's visual acuity has been taken, we can proceed with performing the refraction itself. Once you have all the information loaded in the digital refractor head, you can start the examination with the standard program, which can be modified according to the professional's preference. It's also possible to have different programs for different types of patients or pathologies. You can start with a monocular evaluation of the right eye by automatically occluding the left eye. On the screen, you can select the spherical power and modify its values by rotating the central knob of the keyboard in steps of 0.25 diopters in standard mode. The spherical power steps and the speed of change of the lenses can be customized to the practitioner's preference. Once the adjustment of the spherical power is completed, you begin with the adjustments of the astigmatic axis by selecting the cross cylinder. By pressing Option 1 and Option 2 on the keyboard, you can alternate between both cylinders. According to the feedback provided by the patient, you can adjust the astigmatic axis until balance is achieved. The guide window suggests to the doctor in which direction to adjust the knob according to the patient's response. For example, if the patient selects Option 1, the guide window will suggest rotating the knob counterclockwise, and if they select Option 2, it will suggest a clockwise rotation instead. An alternative to the Jackson's cross cylinder is the dual cross cylinder, a feature exclusive to the digital refractor. The Ezer EDR9000 provides the patient the ability to view both cylinders simultaneously by combining them in a single lens, allowing the patient to easily compare between the two without having to switch lenses back and forth. This reduces the procedure time and achieves much more accurate results. As the patient provides you with feedback on which cylinder presents a clearer image, the guide indicates in which direction to rotate the cylinder access to make the necessary adjustment. This step is repeated until a balance is achieved between the images that the patient observes with both cylinders. To adjust the cylindrical power, you can begin by selecting the cylinder option on the screen. With the central knob, you can increase or decrease the power of the cylinder, similar to the procedure carried out in the spherical power. The values can be adjusted in accordance with the patient's feedback. The evaluation for overcorrection or undercorrection is performed by selecting the red and green test. In the case of an imbalance, the guide window indicates in which direction to rotate the knob to make the appropriate correction in the spherical power. The next step is to see the visual acuity the patient achieves with this correction. Once the refraction on the right eye is complete, the program automatically sets up the occluders, lenses, and parameters of the refractor head to perform the same procedure on the left eye. In the case of presbyopic patients, you can evaluate the near vision by selecting the addition icon. The Ezer EDR9000 adjusts the convergence of interpupillary distance of the refractor head for a comfortable evaluation of near vision. The lighting system installed in the digital refractor head illuminates the near chart without the need for an external light source. Rotating the central knob allows you to add the positive spherical values to the refraction already obtained. This can be done simultaneously for both eyes or for each eye independently until the desired addition is obtained. Once the subjective refraction for both eyes is completed, it is automatically saved and stored in the patient's file. In the case of anisometropia, the digital refractor can establish the final prescription and also save the patient's subjective evaluation data for future increments in later prescriptions. This is done by simply pressing Final. Here you can store the new data independently without losing the subjective evaluation of the patient. The Ezer EDR9000 has the ultimate compare function. This function lets the doctor show the patient the difference in vision between their previous and new prescription by simply selecting the old and new prescription measures on the screen. This unique functionality will leave patients impressed and convinced of the importance and value of their new glasses. The one-of-a-kind feature is only available in a digital refractor like the Ezer EDR9000 that can interchange lenses instantaneously. The Ezer EDR9000 Digital Refractor U.S. Ophthalmic, a vision that inspires yours.